Okay, so next we'll take a look at adding custom code into Ranrex projects ourselves. There are basically three ways to do this. Uh, the first is to add custom code to a recording. The second is to create a code library that can be reused in several recordings. And the third way is to use or to create a code module that can be uh, used uh, within your test suite, just like recording modules. So first, let's take a look at including code in a, in a recording. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can create a recording using uh, some custom code. Okay, so first I'll create a new recording. Okay, I'll just name it custom code test. Okay, create. Okay, so inside my recording, I want to click some buttons, uh, for example. So let's search for buttons in our um, menu here. Okay, so I'll click the header user menu button and or and uh, after that I'll click the hamburger button in a card. Just uh, ideally we would have to open a card in between somewhere but uh, just for this example I'll quickly use it like this and then what we can do is we can select several actions we can right click and say uh, merge items to user code item okay so then it's uh, changing it to a single user code item and we have to give it a name. Uh, I'll just name it click buttons here for the sake of this demo. Okay, and then we can double click it and we come into our user code. So you can see next to the init methods we've had pre, pre we've seen previously, uh, we now have an additional method called click buttons. Um, and within this action, we can see basically the same as we had previously in our recording CS file. Um, so if we open up the recording CS file next to it, you will see that this is now uh, no longer has the individual actions in it, but has just single action click buttons, which is referring to our custom code. And within our custom code, we can um yeah so we can see the actions um so what's the advantage of custom code is that um we can now uh, add several things in here which are basically just uh, regular c sharp code so i can for example uh, add a for loop around this uh, first button to um, just click it five times, for example. Okay, let's let's turn that around and start from zero going up to five and increase our counter um, okay so just basic c sharp for loop um, we can uh, put it around uh, either just the first uh, button or we can uh, we can click it use it for both of our buttons so you can do uh, anything here you can do in within C sharp code. So add loops, um, add, add conditions and so on and so on. So the second way to add user code to a data a runworks project is to add a uh, user code collection. So let's take a look at how we'll do this. Um, I right click one of my projects. I add a new item and um, 
from the uh, menu here, I select user code collection. Okay, I select create, it's immediately creating new file. I didn't change the name in this one, so it's uh, automatically called user code collection with a number. Uh, you can change it to, to a name of your liking, of course. Um, and then within the user code collection, it's um, so it's here in comments. You can use the insert new user code method functionality from the context menu to add a new method. It's the user code method attribute. So I just uh, right click and insert new user code method. I'm going to call it my method one, for example. Okay. Um, so now I have a user code method and um, I insert it in the wrong place. So let's revert that and go to a new line first um, and insert it. Uh. Okay, so I now have a user code method and um, I need some kind of way to access uh, the repository. Um, so um, we have some IntelliSense here. So if I go like data miner cube library, uh, So I can say instance. No. Ah, I need the data miner cube library repository. Oh, first I have to add my reference. Um, so I have to say using data miner cube library and then I should have my repository available. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I'll just call this repo. And I can say dot instance. Um, to have my objects available. So now from here, I can go like repo dot um, data miner cube, cube window. So I have basically the, the same structure as in my repository. So on the sidebar, I want to um, click some button there. Um, So I have the header and within the header, I have a button for activity and I can just then say click to click this button. Okay, so that's a very quick example. Um, you can add the repo and then from the repo, you can uh, navigate down your structure and click one of the items. Okay, so now how do I use this? I go back into a recording. Um, I right click, say add new action, go down to user code and select from library. And here I have, uh, so I have my local methods. So that's the one that I've created previously, um, the click buttons. I have the ones that are imported um, from the data miner cube library, so quite a few there. And then I can see also here my user code collection, which I've just created, and I can um, use my methods. I can say confirm selection. And so now whenever I execute this uh, 
recording, it will first do my uh, click buttons, uh, user code, and then after that, the my method from the from the user code collection. So the advantage of a user code collection is that your code is easily reusable in multiple recordings. So the third way to add custom code to a Runworks project is by using a code module. Let's take a look at how this works. Um, so again, on my project, I go to the add menu, say new item, and from the menu, I select code module, and I create it. Um, so basically, it's uh, very similar to our user code collection, except we do not need to add uh, additional code. Um, we can just a uh, constructor is added and um, a run method. And within our run method, we can add um, some custom code. Um, so again, here we can um, add a connection to our um, library um, and add a connection to the repo. Uh, data matter cube library repository repo is uh, so we add the instance and once again from the repo we can um, maybe click something in the context menu uh, oh, th this this is a variable. Um, so let's uh, not use that for now. Um, so I'm gonna again uh, go from data miner cube cube window uh, cards. Um, so yeah, workspace first, workspace. Uh, it's a typo here. Um, workspace dots. I think I can have the card container now. Yes. And then, um, so common cards. Um, And in the header, let's click the hamburger menu or hamburger button. Okay, it's a hamburger button and I can just click that one. Okay. Um, so basically that's it. And now to use our user code module, I can go into my test suit and just uh, within any any test case I can uh, drag my user code module in it just like I would with a recording so I can drag my user code uh, user code module into it and it's it's just as a recording uh, in fact, if you go digging into um, Runworks documentation, you will see that a recording is also sometimes referred to as a recording module. So recording modules and code modules are basically both, to, both uh, different types of modules. Um, if I try to do the same thing with my user code collection, see I get a little forbidden sign so this is impossible to add to my uh, test suit or any test case uh, directly uh, like that. <laughs>